What's up, you guys? Happy Labor Day. Whew. So I just finished the wad, and you guys already just saw my previous video explaining the difference between a split lunge and a split jump squat. So also, in today's workout, the last section, we have renegade rows with no push-up. So I wanted to show you guys that as well because um, I know a lot of form with the renegade row is difficult and you guys like want to move your body, but the whole point is to keep the lower body as stiff as possible so that it's just your upper body that is working and I'm going to show you guys right now. So you're going to do this, you're going to come down, you can see me, yes, okay, so you're in your push-up position and then you separate your legs because you want a nice sturdy base. And normally you go with the renegade row, you pull up one arm and then you go down into a push-up. But instead for today, we're gonna be in our normal renegade row push-up position like this. And then pull up and pull up. Now you don't wanna do this or anything. You don't wanna rotate the bottom half of you. So your hips stay nice and sturdy, your glutes squeeze, your core nice and tight. Your legs are separated so that you have a nice base. If they're together, you won't be able to lift your arms at all. It'll be way too hard to balance. So once again, when you lift, keep this portion nice and tight. No moving. Like that. Good luck. Happy Labor Day. Crush this workout. Obviously, you know, I'm rocking a little red and white. Um, I love you guys and uh, keep killing your watts. Let's go.